Good evening. Um, so, I don't know if you guys know this, but I have been eating um, a fruit-based diet for four years. And I didn't start doing it correctly until about a year and a half ago when I finally stopped restricting my calories. Yeah, so the first two and a half years I was I was under eating. I was simply scared of, of gaining weight and having to wait for my metabolic damage to heal, which I knew there would be plenty because I had been restricting my calories for so many years prior to, um, to starting this lifestyle. Basically, <laughs> even though what I was worried about was, um, was gaining weight and having to, you know, wait for it potentially to come off, I, I basically just made more work for myself by waiting, um, waiting to, you know, start, to start healing and to start, start the whole process. Of course, now I'm so much happier than I've ever been that um, the eventual possible weight loss really doesn't matter so much to me anymore. But I know that it matters to a lot of people who um, who are just finding out about this lifestyle, coming from eating disorder, possibly maybe just coming from just struggling with their weight in general, um, or dieting or something like that. Um, so I kind of just want to address you guys out there who, um, who have heard about this, you know, Russell 4, or Fully Raw, or 80 to 10, Banana Girl Diet, whatever you want to call it, um, whichever variation. You've heard about this lifestyle of abundance where you get to eat as, as much food as you want, <laughs> as much fruit and carbohydrates and veggies as you care for, and eventually um, heal and be left at your ideal weight. Don't wait to do it correctly, is basically my message for this video. Um, it is so easy to to start and think, oh well, I'll just you know, I'll do it, but I'll just I'll just do it my own way, and I'll I'll eat less, and that'll work for me because I'm special and I'm the exception to every rule. You're not, <laughs> and I'm not. None of us are. Our bodies are programmed to survive, and the more you restrict your calories, the more damage you're going to have to undo later on down the line. So if what you're worried about is not getting results as quickly as you'd like to and having to wait for um, your metabolic damage to be undone <laughs> and having to wait through this awful time period of having more weight on your body than you would like to, um, then restricting your calories is just making things, it's just going to make things harder for you. It's just going to make that lag time between when you start doing it properly and when you get the results that you're looking for. It's just going to make that lag time longer. So don't make things more difficult for yourself. Just start eating abundantly now. More importantly, <laughs> um, recognize that, you, that you're worth that. Don't put anything before your health. Don't put your weight before your health. Don't put your short-term expectations, your goals for how to look in a bikini this summer, um, for those of you who are in the Southern Hemisphere, um, before your long-term mental and physical health. I am a full believer in um, having to make your own mistakes to, to learn your lesson and, and start doing things the way you should have done them in the first place. I had to do that. Um, I know many people do. So maybe that's what's going to happen to you too, and maybe that's just going to be your pathway to, to figuring it out. But if I can, if I can convince any of you to, to circumvent that, you know, just extra pain and suffering and, and ultimately damage, um, then I really hope that you'll listen. I just, you know, now that I've been doing this for so long, and now that I'm finally doing it correctly and enjoying it, and I'm so thankful for that, um, 
I just see others, uh, you know, making the same mistakes that I did and, um, and being really, really doubtful and hesitant about eating our, you know, our body's natural fuel and, um, and not, you know, rendering good results. Like, if you're, if you're not convinced, I guess you should just keep, you should keep reading and keep listening to people's stories and, and then ultimately it'll either make sense to you or it won't. And ultimately you'll, you'll either listen to my advice or you won't. Um, and then later on down the line, maybe you'll um, get miserable enough like I did. You're worth your health and happiness. Don't put it off. Don't wait. Um, don't create more work for yourself. Start on your fruit happiness today. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, if you, you know, have any questions for me or anything, then, of course, put them in the comments below, and um, I will gladly answer them. Okay.